Hello, so I'll just be doing a quick tutorial on how I render my Roblox GFX uh, pictures, whatever you want to call them. Um, I actually experiment with different ways, so these are this is just the most recent way I started doing it, which is what I'll be sharing. So basically, you just want to get the person you're going to be uh, doing the render on then you want to get the plugin Roblox quick acid downloader I will leave that in the description and once you go to the person's profile you want to click on the asset downloader then you want to click on this middle one that says click to edit in studio then it will install the player and then when you click on it, it will just open up the player in studio and then you just export it out of the studio, which I've already done that. So I'm just going to open up Cinema 4D and I use a special Lightroom, but I will leave the Lightroom I'm using in the description below, just like everything else I'm using. So, after you load up the Lightroom, you want to go to File, the Merge. Then you want to go to where you save the object. And then you just want to find the one that you downloaded. You want to name it something so you can tell it different from everything else. And make sure it as uh, the object. See? Uh, not MLT or text. I want to do object. So, and I have the scale at 100, which is I think is a good scale. And as you see, this will come up. So yeah. So. As you can see, it doesn't have any well, color yet, it's just all gray. So down here, where you see all these weird texture things I have, you can see this one says YouTube, like all these say. You want to click on this, and as you can see, this stuff comes up over here. You'll go to Texture, then over here, you'll see these three dots. You'll click on those dots. And then you'll find the texture, like mine is YouTube one text, and you'll see how they all have these like design stuff on them. I don't really know how to explain it. And so after you click on that, you'll just open it, then just press yes. And as you can see, this comes up, and it may look blurry, and that's okay. You can just go to edit it here and then go down to default and change it to no scaling and it'll go like that you can see up here it says YouTube 9 that you can see uh, is the head you'll just leave the head alone and go down to the 8 or the one directly below it and then you'll want to hold shift and then just click on each of these besides the lights and the head and all of these that you highlighted you'll want to click on this little you see these like um what's it called checkerboard sort of things here next to it you'll see like this orange platform thing just delete each of those sorry i'm bad at explaining <laughs> and there as you can see, they kind of look a bit more rounded now, I guess you could say. And after that, we might you'll need these all, you'll still need these highlighted. And then just press U, S at the same time on your keyboard. Oh, not at the same time, just like U and then S, but hold them down at the same time. Three times. And as you can see, you'll do this. And then after you do that, you'll go to File, and then Merge again. 
and then you'll go to bones which i will leave in the de description and then just open the bones and then you'll want to line it up with your character so let me just do that all right that's good enough so then you'll want to click on say the left arm then you'll hold control and then as you can see over here it says left shoulder left elbow left hand while holding control click on all three of those then you'll go up to here next to plugins and above the render stuff it says character you'll go to character then go down to commands then click on bind then you'll do that to each one like say the torso hold click on the torso hold shift bind lower body middle body and upper body then go up to character commands and bind and then like right arm go to right shoulder elbow and hand while holding control and go to character commands bind and then just do that to each one like head you find all the head ones then bind then you'll go to like the left leg go to all the left leg stuff go to then bind them and so on let me just do that to each. Alright, so after you bind them all, you'll just want to, if you want to move like the arm, you don't actually move the arm anymore. You have to find like the shoulder or the elbow or the hand, whatever you want to move. And then see if you move that, it'll stretch out the arm thing there with you. Or if you rotate it, it will just rotate on that axis, or oh, axis, I, I, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and then just do that to shape it however you want. So let me just do a random shape, I guess. There. And then for the head, if you want to move the head, you'll have to click on, well, yeah, head. Then you'll want to click shift. Then click on each of the hats while holding shift so you can move the hats with the head. So yeah, just kind of turn that, I guess. Alright. And then you'll want to, like, find the way you want to be looking at the person when you render it. And then just like, okay, you don't need to go there yet. And then if you want to add more lighting, you can go to click on this, like little plain looking thing and hold down on it. And then you'll see over here, physical sky, just click on that. And as you can see, it kind of makes it hard to see the person. And you'll want to go to time and collection location down here and then I think 13 will change this 12 to 13 and then these zeros here to 15 and press enter I think that's a good time or you cannot do physical sky it doesn't really matter then you just want to click render and then see how it looks because sometimes you have to experiment with the physical sky so you can see it how you like it and my renders being slow so I'll be back when it renders you can adjust the physical sky to the lighting that you like but I think this is fine so after that, you can just go ahead and close your rendering for now. Then next to here, you'll see the little gear thing here. You want to click on that. Then down here, you'll see save. You want to click on that. Then where it says format, it'll say like TIFF. 
or whatever, you want to click on that and go down to PNG and then click that. Then over here it says Alpha Channel. You'll click that and then you'll click on Alpha Straight too. Then you can just close that and then render it again. So you have to sit to the render again. But once it renders this time, it will be transparent. So just gotta wait for this to render. see this white outline around it that means it's transparent so go over to the render here and then you'll want to right click on it and then go down to save as and then don't mess with any of this stuff because you already did that in render settings then just go to ok and name it whatever there you go and then just save it. Okay, then you can just close all of this. And if it asks if you want to save before quitting, just press no because you've already saved the picture. And then just go into your uh, files and go to wherever you save it. I'll go to my folder here. And as you can see, it saves right here. And you can just open it. And boom, once it loads. See? As you can see, it has that sort of white outline around it, which means it's transparent. And how I edit it is I use. I use paint.net here, or you can use GIMP or whatever program you use, Photoshop, whatever. Then here I'll just use a random picture as a background. I don't really know. Let's see. Uh, here let's just use this because I just have it. And then you go to file. And open again. Okay. And you just open the thing. And you'll just copy it and paste it onto the picture. And then you of course want to edit the size to your liking. And then a way to make it wider is add a new layer, then just color the layer in completely white, then you'll go to layers and layer properties, then you'll go to mode, and you can go to overlay, and of course the background you might have to fix, but you can mess around with these settings like maybe not additive or multi multiply, it doesn't really do anything. As you can see, overlay makes it brighter, and you can mess with the opacity to your liking. And yeah, and then there you go. I'm gonna make a random render. Alright, see ya, bye.